Hi and welcome back. In this video I will cover some useful options for your wireless network. First of all you need to log in to your wireless router. But to get prompted with a login page you need to know the IP address of the router. So click on the start menu and type CMD. Press enter. Next type IP config and look for default gateway. This will be your IP address for accessing the router. Now I will log into my router and show you some important settings. First thing you need to do is change default password because router manufacturers use the same username and password, which is usually admin and the password admin. An easy way to find router passwords is by using routerpasswords.com. Here you have a huge database of different routers. Just select one and click find password. As you can see this is a very effective way to find your username and password. Ok, so let's switch back to my router interface and go to the wireless tab. Here you have different options. You can select the wireless modes and use as client, client bridge, ad hoc. But leave it on AP. Next is network modes or standards where you have B, G, N only and so on. The big thing right here are channels because these channels can help you avoid interference. So I recommend using 1, 6 or 11. Next is your network name and broadcast which is enabled. This means that I'm able to see the name of the access point when searching for wireless networks. Disable mode will make your wireless network invisible. The next important tab is wireless security. Here you have different security protocols, but always use WPA and avoid web encryption. I will use a simple password for testing. And the last tab I want to cover is MAC filter. This option will prevent clients from accessing your network. If you want to find your wireless MAC address, just open command prompt and type netsh wlan show interface. And here is your MAC address. Another cool trick is to find your wireless password. So type netsh wlan show profile and select your profile name. Mine is Kynet. And then type key equal clear and press enter. As you can see my password is revealed. So that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.